do you need to generate more high quality phone calls for your business? And if that's you right now, I wanna show you the best way to generate more high quality phone calls for your service-based business. And the best way to do this is that you wanna run separate call-only campaigns in your Google Ads account. Now, many businesses who are wanting to generate more phone calls through Google Ads, they'll generally just run call extensions. So they'll add their call extensions to their already active search campaigns. Now, while this is something that I do recommend, to get better results, I also recommend that you have a separate call only campaign where it's specifically targeting mobiles only or some really core cool suburbs or locations. And the reason for why I do this is because you just generate more results. Let me show you what I mean. Now, what we're looking at here is six months of data. And what I wanna show you is that you can see we've got three different campaigns running. We've got a general search campaign, and then we've got these two call only campaigns. And what I wanna show you is that yes, our CPC is higher. And in some cases, it's more than a dollar higher and we are getting less clicks. But if you come over here and see the cost per conversions and also the conversion Conversion rates, you can see that these campaigns are generating a lot better results. And then also as well, when I've added in this segment function, you can see that these are really good campaigns in generating phone calls. Now, unfortunately, a very common theme that I've been hearing from business owners recently, especially in my paid community, is that they're getting a lot of low quality phone calls. So yes, they're getting the phone calls, but the quality of those phone calls are actually really, really poor. So what I wanna do now is I wanna take you through the four strategies that you can use in order to increase the quality of the phone calls that are coming from your Google Ads account. Now the first three are quite quick, so we're gonna run through them really, really quickly because I really wanna spend more time on that fourth one. And the first one is that in the location settings that the campaign is set to presence and interest. So what that means is that Google is targeting people that aren't only currently in your location, but they're showing interest in your location through their previous search history. Now, for a service-based business, the reason why I get rid of the interest-based targeting is because we wanna target people who live and spend the majority of the time in your targeted locations. And now this is another benefit of having a separate call-only campaign is because you can have your general search campaigns with that location and presence targeting, but then your call-only campaign, it can be set to presence only. So you're only looking at targeting people who live and or work in your targeted areas. The second one is that the call only campaign also has conversion actions which are not related to the phone call or they're a very low quality conversion action. An extreme example of this is that we were reviewing an account that had just left their agency and they were unaware that included in that call only campaign was a conversion action which is all about viewing the contact page and that was just triggering a high amount of low quality calls because on that landing page, they also had a click to call. So what we did is we removed those two conversion actions and just purely focused on the call only ad conversion. And after four to six weeks, we started to see a really good turnaround in the quality of their leads. And now the third way to limit poor quality phone calls coming through from your Google Ads campaigns is to get stronger ad copy. And what I mean by that is that, especially in your descriptions, if you don't offer certain services, make that really, really clear in your ad copy. Or if your services are more of a premium, so you're not offering lower prices, you're offering you know higher prices than your competitors, don't be afraid to put that price in the ad copy. Now the benefit of this is that remember that your call only ads are generally more expensive, especially in the CPC. What you wanna be doing is you only want people to click on your ad and go through that phone call if you know that they're suitable for your products or your services. So a great way of pre-queuing that is by putting in some really clear points about your services so that you can help to stop people clicking on your ads if they're not suitable for your services. So that's the first three areas. And as I said, we would run through them really, really quickly. And this is because I wanna really focus in on this fourth area. And this is the best way that you can increase the quality of your phone calls that are being generated by your Google Ads campaigns. Now, what I do also wanna let you know that this does take a little bit of time because what we're doing here is we're diving into the data and then building out a better keyword profile. So what we wanna do is we wanna add in extra negative keywords that are generating low quality phone calls. Now, the way that you do this is that when you're in your insights, you go to your reports, then you call details reports. Then you also wanna add in search terms. Then what you're doing is you're going through the phone calls. Then what you're doing is that you're going through the search terms and you're looking for any patterns of search terms that generate high quality leads or search terms that generate low quality phone calls 
and then you wanna add them as a negative keyword. Now, so that I can clearly explain what I'm talking about here, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you this exact process. So when you're in Google Ads, you wanna go over to Insights and Reports, and then when you're in Insights, I want you to go into the Report Editor, and then from here, you wanna to go to Core Details. Now, because I use this report a lot, you're seeing it in here. So if you don't see this in the Frequently Used Reports section, you wanna go down into the Ads and Assets section, and then you'll see Core Details. Select Core Details. Now, what I've done, so I can show you as much data as possible, I've taken out the campaign names. I've also taken out, if you can see here where you type Call, I've also taken out the caller phone number. If you were to add that in, that would actually give you the caller's phone number. And that's gonna be something that's really, really important, and I'll show you what we're gonna be doing very soon. Because what I want you to do is, I want you to go over to here and type in search, and then add in the search keyword. Now, once again, just for privacy, I've had to blur out these search keywords, but what I want you to see that what you can do is that when you go through this duration, you can filter it down by high to low. And I do two things. Now generally what I would also do is that I would export this out to a Google Sheet. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the calls which have a long duration and I'm comparing it to do two other data points. Firstly, I'm comparing it to the user's phone number and then also the keyword. And what I'm really looking at is I'm looking at, because we know the phone number, we're looking at and seeing was that a high quality lead or was it a low quality lead? And we're looking at seeing, are there any common themes with different types of keywords, which are generating high quality leads? And then I also do it the other way where I filter it down by a low duration. And especially with all of these really, really short phone calls, what I'm looking at is, are there any keywords which generally generate really low quality leads? Now, I do wanna let you know that sometimes this can take one or two months before you start to see any really clear trends. And it also does take some time to really really go through that Google Sheet or go through that report in Google Ads so that you can start to see a trend of what keywords are generating high quality phone calls and what keywords are generating low quality phone calls. And if you do see a common trend, what you can do is that you can then, especially for any keywords which are time and time again just leading to really poor quality phone calls, you can add them as a negative keyword to your call only campaign. But what we're really looking at doing there is taking a deeper dive into the data and really trying to see any trends of are there certain keywords which generate high quality phone calls? The way that we're doing that is by using the caller's phone number and really working with the business owner or if you're the business owner, really going through your client list to see did that phone number actually lead to a converted sale? And then on the other end, if you're seeing a whole heap of low quality phone calls, really looking at are there any trends on the search terms which the users are using which generally lead to lower quality leads. That's the best way that you can use the data within Google Ads to really increase the quality of your phone calls. And if you wanna make sure that you're not missing out any important optimization steps with your Google Ads campaigns, I want you to go through and follow that link in the description below and you can get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, which lets you know all of the individual optimization actions that you need to complete in Google Ads and it also lets you know whether you need to complete that action every week, every month, or every 90 days. Thank you for joining me. It's been my absolute pleasure having you here. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy, and if you'd like to see my full strategy for how I create Google Ads campaigns for service-based businesses, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. See you next time.